Hey everybody, and welcome to another episode of Orb of Creation. It's a new day, a new recording session. I wanted to come back to this game. I really enjoy it. I'm a little bit uncertain of where we left off because this is a little bit of mini simulator. It looks like we've gotten a magical advancement. So we could get elemental resonance or greater spell capacity. Let's see. Causing them to receive twice the benefit from elemental type modifiers. So for example, two times storm power enhanced storm cantrips by times four. Okay. Whereas greater spell capacity. I guess I'll do greater spell capacity. That seems fine to me. Uh, we're still rocking the Harness Mind concept. I don't really see a reason to change that yet. I guess I can spend some of the Thaumaturgy I'm developing. And I might as well get some urns too. Oh, we get Shaper XP. That's cool. Yep, I think as always we're just gonna bounce around upgrading the stuff with what we have. So Focus Aura will give us a little bit more Psi Energy. Intellect I think gives us more Knowledge and not Thaumaturgy. But Psi is mental, so it'll give us more of that as well. I guess Study Spells also make sense. And we can look at another Orb upgrade too. Let's see, improved charging. Do I have spell charging? Okay, I don't know how to charge spells. Okay. Uh, this would need Expert Scholar 2 if I wanted to go for that. Which not, wouldn't necessarily be too bad, actually. It gives concept power. Concepts seem really nice. I'll get Expert Scholar 2, why not? I have a bunch of knowledge, so it might make sense to spend some of that as well. Though I probably should wait until after I'm done with this upgrade, which it looks like we're about done with. Yep, we've gotten our expert scholar. I guess I'll get some wisdom. It's going to give us some more thaumaturgic capacity and mana capacity, and both of those are things that will help us out greatly. I think I'll get another duplicate spellbook too, because oh, we made use of the duplicate spellbook in our last one. Oh, we could get uh, advanced wizardry this episode, I think. Would make sense to me. Uh, is Thaumaturgy a magic resource? It is, so attunement would help with that. If we're gonna get advanced wizardry, we're gonna need a bunch of mentality upgrades. Because they give more knowledge capacity. I think I'll get academic as well. Just whenever we can. It's gonna be a little while before we can unlock advanced wizardry. Uh, let's see, can we upgrade our spells? Let's see, we could upgrade Whirling Divination. I'll do that right now. And Storm Charging could use an upgrade, but we'd have to actually invest in the Storm stuff. And we need a lot of uh, castings of these spells to actually get to level up. Maybe we can raise our output level. We absolutely can. It does increase the amount of mana that all our spells cost by a metric shitload. But that is fine. We can always reinvest these points into getting more mana, which will help us get 
cast her spells. Okay, we've sort of hit a lull. I guess I'll get study spells too. That should sort of help out with that. Back down to zero mana. Looks like we could get improved shaping now, so I might as well get a little bit of knowledge. We're getting five per second, so another like five seconds and we'll have enough for improved shaping. Learn how to craft even more of the world. Exciting. So, urn of urns. This urn enhances the other two urns. Okay, I guess I'll grab that. And then containment, which enhances spatial generation, which I think also just improves the other two urns. Interesting. All right, well, that'll be something we'll have to invest in over time. We've gotten another mentality upgrade, so that's a very, very marginal amount of knowledge boost. Which is what it is. I do think we're choking a little bit on our lack of mana capacity. So I think I will lower my output level for the time being. Your output level basically like exponentially increases the cost. It's very not great for us. Hmm. We're only getting 22 Thaumaturgy per pop. So actually leveling up. Like we can get one more attunement. Which will give us three more mana regen. It's not very much. I think that should be our last attunement upgrade. Not that we can even get enough Thaumaturgy right now. It'll probably be worth to invest in infused mana. Of course that does mean we're just going to have to wait for the mana regen. We could maybe switch up our kit a little bit. Switch to our lightning spellbook and get some lightning upgrades. But we're already halfway there with infused mana. It's just going to take... Let's see, we're getting 219 per second. So over 5 seconds we get 1,000, so... Another like 15 seconds or so. Oh yeah, look at that. We're really getting there. Might as well grab a couple urn of urns as well. Uh, I almost cucked myself. It's very easy to forget that you... The Thaumaturgy gives you magic capacity. Okay, we got a small amount more mana regen. Not very much. Every little bit helps, though. So I'll just continue to get more urn upgrades. We can get another mentality upgrade as well. It's absolutely good. Guess I'll get another resilience as well. That's giving us five more mana regen. That's very incremental. It's very, very, very tiny. The more time we spend in the magic tab, the better, though, because our harness mind concept is making all of our scholar upgrades cheaper. So the more we wait on it, the more it'll help out on that front. I guess we could infuse mana again since we have so much thaumaturgy right now. So it's probably worth doing that. How's the urns looking? I could probably get an urn of expansion. 
which is going to take 286. Let's see, does this actually improve our? This does improve our. I'll, I'll get containment instead. It takes a very small amount of mana. Alright, 1,000 more to go. We're going from 237 to 250. So that's another 13 mana per second. Absolutely wonderful. Okay, is... Are we there yet with the... No, we're going to need one more mentality upgrade if we're going to want... to level up our advanced wizardry. Which be would it be? Might as well just cap myself in the thaumaturgy. We can go above our limit, but... If you're above your limit, you'll lose the resource a little bit over time. Maybe I can get a knowledge loadout going. That's reasonable enough. Oh, I could raise my output level once more. Uh, not that we're going to be able to afford that stuff, but... Still. And I guess I'll just get... First of all... Whirling Divination, then I guess it'll just be three Knowledge Upgrades. There we go. Actually, we could make Whirling Divination get the Turtle. There we go. That's our max casting capacity. So now we'll be able to pump our Knowledge given us a hundred at a time. Which is very nice. It's given us another resilience, so we've gotten another seven mana per second. Oh, we've actually gotten our mastery up with Gather Knowledge. What does it take to upgrade you? 270? That's extremely no big deal. We're completely tapped out of mana, though, because each casting costs 2,000, so I might as well just lower the level down. Begin casting it at this nice, easy level. It's not really giving us much experience points, but it does let us just constantly cycle this upgrade, or uh, the spell. Alright, we're one side upgrade, I think, away from being able to get our upgrade. So at some point soon, we should switch to the Thaumaturgy upgrade, or a uh, spell. I guess I'll do that now. So get our Whirling Divination. Boom, we're already at 400 Thaumaturgy. Very nice. And this final mentality will give us, yep, 1.5k. Very good. I think I'll get another Focus Aura as well, because we'll be able to spike our Thaumaturgy back with ease. I guess I'll switch the other spellbook too, just so we can hurry the knowledge gain along. Advanced wizardry unlocked. Alright, what's this last little bit gonna be? Cunning, sharpen all cantrip spells, and wizard's aura. Passively generate thaumaturgy. Yes! I will get this aura. I'm just gonna upgrade this as much as possible. Okay. We're now getting half a Thaumaturgy per second. I guess I'll get some cunning upgrades as well. We got another level of Orb XP too. So we could probably research some other concept. Hmm. 
It's a good question to be what books do I want to get. I do kind of like focusing on wizardry and scholarism. Maybe that's not the best. Maybe we should get expert expansion. Oh no, speaking of expansion, we're... We've got a bunch of space that we're not using. Okay, there we go. We're good. I'll get another containment. Let's see, expert expansion would give us more room for technology, which I guess is the undiscovered, and more dimensional effects level, whatever that means. Alternatively, we could get export, st expert storm, and that'll give us a little bit more crit chance on all our spells, as well as make all our lightning spells better. Um, are these basic spells? Yeah, these are all basic spells. I think I'll go for another another scholar level, just so we can get the concept thing rolling quicker. The concepts are very nice. Probably should switch books to the Thaumaturgy one. So we can get some Thaumaturgy so we can infuse our mana again, because we're currently capped. I mean, I could always just raise the casting level and then we'll, we'll use up that mana instantaneously. I guess I'll get some cunning upgrades rolling. Yeah, look at that. Magnificent. We're now up to 0.8 Thaumaturgy per second, and our cantrip spells are very marginally better, too. And we're completely out of mana, as all things should be. I'll get another cunning. We might have enough... Let's see, we've got one magical advancement, so we could... Either wait for the resonance one, or I guess get spell charging. Do I not have spell charging? Well, hold up. Magic concepts. Learn new concepts. Magic learning. I guess I'll get that. What's this concept going to be? Let's see. Magic learning. Developing attributes generates a small amount of magic resources. What does that mean? Oh, okay, so leveling up would give us a little bit of juice. Uh, I mean, I don't know about that one. That seems kind of mediocre. We could get harness magic rolling, I guess. Yeah, I think I will do that. We now actually have Thaumaturgy generation, so we can fuel this. We really need to increase our understanding capacity somehow. Not sure how we're going to do that one, though. Oh, we got to expand magic level up. Very neat. Oh, you can see the you could see the concept we got, reduce the cost for all those things. If I look at my spell book, so this just needs 400, <laughs> 400 Thaumaturgy. I just spent all my mana on Whirling Divination, so I can't even cast the spell to get the extra 40. There we go. Boom. Fantastic. I like how leveling up the spells gives, like, little passive bonuses. That is extremely nice. We could learn some spells. Let's see, Rolox Cube. Summons a powerful mental construct that improves passive elemental generation, all resource capacity, mental generation, and sonic spell power. Okay, Sonic Blast. Creates a burst of empowered passive mental and energy and spell 
Okay, that seems really reasonable. Let's see. Industria. Massively empower your conjuration spells. I guess I will do that. Attune orb. Empower the generation of magic and mental resources. That seems really, really nice. And the cube. I guess I'll get the cube. Okay, so Brain Biscuit is going to require Expert Wizardry 3. Conjure a cookie that enhances reflective concepts and generates mental <laughs> resources based on a percentage of that capacity. Gain Brain Biscuit, level 1. Uh, I mean, that sounds awesome. So that's going to be what we go for next, I think. Let's brainstorm. We'd need two expert storm upgrades for that. Oh no, I got completely distracted. We don't. We're capped on our friggin' resources. I guess I'll get study spells. And focus aura, and intellect, and if I have any wizardry upgrades, I guess resilience. We do need mana generation, like pronto. Don't want to focus on scholaring so that we don't. So we can make use of our concepts. Can I get... I don't have an orb advancement. We're going to have to level up 50 more times to get another orb XP. I guess I'll just continue to get earn upgrades. You can get another urn of urns, which will give us a dimensional level up. Got Shaper XP complete. Is that going to give us... Well, let's see. It hasn't given us an advancement. What does it do? Plus one technology advancement, plus one glyph upgrade. Okay, so it did give us an advancement. We just can't use it yet. And if we look at our things, yeah, we've got another glyph upgrade. So we could upgrade uh, one of these. I mean, I like heavy. I'll, I'll upgrade it. See, it's going to give plus one usage slot and times one cantrip spell power. Okay. Yeah, I guess I'll go for it. Very cool. We even got casting level up as well, which is absolutely fantastic. Very cool. Big fan of what I'm seeing. Do we have any spells that could be upgraded? Just the one. Maybe we should play around with some of these. Let's see. Which one would I even want to cast, though? These are all charm spells. You can only cast one at a time. I don't think Sonic Blast really does much for us. Uh... Rolox Cube would give us more mana, more Psy, and more knowledge. I guess that makes sense. I guess maybe I'll change Loadout 4 out and get the Rolox Cube. That'll give us some um, stuff to level up. Uh, loadout. Oh, this spell's on cooldown. We're gonna have to wait for that shit. Okay, whatever. I'm not gonna wait. It's going to need four juicers? Are you serious? Okay, no, it's going to need three. Um, okay. There we go. Alright, so it's given us a bunch of lightning, a bunch of sonic, and a bunch of knowledge. And it's given us more capacity for the knowledge, too. So we could upgrade our resilience, I guess. Yeah, seems fine to me. Obviously, I'll get an urn of expansion as well. The cube really lasts a long time, I've got to say. 
Oh, I think it's boosting our mana regen, too. Yeah, I boosted it to nearly twice as much. That's extraordinarily nice. Guess I could swap to the lightning upgrades. Uh, excuse me, why can't I cast a spell? Oh, no, I can't. I just didn't have the mana because it takes 7,000. Jeez. Okay. Well, whatever. Might as well just get these things going. Yep, at the caster level we're currently at, it just is impossible to cast these spells. So I guess I'll have to lower my casting output to a manageable level. What do you need? You need 120 mana, or uh, lightning mana to level up. Sure thing. Easy peasy. It's given us another storm level. It's very nice. How close is the cube to leveling up? Not close at all. Okay, well I guess we could... I'll paper up once more, get a little bit more lightning. Uh, I guess we'll get Scholar's Aura, Academic. There we go. And then I want to switch loadouts, I think. I want to cube up some more. Let's see, we might have to switch up our spellbook a little bit. Or this loadout. Let's see, I guess we can get rid of the Whirling Divination and get another power cube here. And I'm gonna try to cast at a output level four. Well, we could do five, I'll do five. Oh yes, the mastery is leveled up with the Rolex cube. I'll upgrade it. It's even passively getting XP too while we've got it going. It's giving us a bunch of Psy, which is nice. Guess I'll just continue to gain some level ups. I'll get another resilient going. I'll cast the cube again. We're cube maxing. Oh, we can actually get a storm forging level up. That's pretty nice. And a wizard's aura and a wisdom. Just level up all of the things. We're now getting very close to getting another orb level up. So get some more urns rolling too. We could maybe wait for enough space to get cognitive shaping would unlock memory and sorcery and both of those seem to be pretty good give me that harness magic let's see minus 10.2 wizardry cost oh per advancement no <laughs> not per advancement now it's minus 10.3 is there a way i can actually look at that let's see Attribute development speed. How fast you learn attributes and build structures. Casting level. I don't... I mean, there's got to be a way to look at it. Oh, here it is. Times 0.43 because of Scholar. Interesting. So then if we go to the magic tab... Yeah, times 0.53 wizardry. Okay, so maybe it is actually juicing it per level. Either way. I'll get some level ups. Give me the level ups. Oh. You know, I think I'm gonna call the episode here. We have... Not unlocked a new tab, but I think we've made some good progress either way. We've learned many spells and have begun to maximize our cubage to maximize our resource gain. Which are both very nice. It's hard to remember all the things that you do in a single episode. 
Because we just unlocked a bunch of tiny things here and there. So, yeah. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. And I hope to see you next time for more Orb of Creation. Goodbye!